In the question number 21, a police siren emits a sound wave of frequency 440 hertz. The speed of sound is 330 meter per second. A police jeep moving with a speed 20 meter per second is following a heavy truck moving with 10 meter per second. Then frequency of echo from truck heard by the policeman inside the jeep is nearly. So by this statement, easily you can find or if I say truck act like moving observer initially. So that was the very important point. If I say this is jeep, so jeep is moving 20 meter per second and if this is the position of truck and truck is moving 10 meter per second. So according to the problem this that was the echo and 440 hertz. As I said time saving technique. So what you will do? Aap dono frequency ko solve karoge initially and finally. So if I take the ratio, you will write F dash upon F naught. So I am taking here F naught. And I know formula you all know. Speed of sound minus speed of truck. 10, 330 minus 20 the speed of Jeep into because you are taking ratio. You have to be very careful. 330 plus 20, 330 plus 10 so you can write quickly so what I am doing here I am taking the ratio of both frequency and as I said truck act like moving observer initially so when you will calculate this expression you will get 467 Hertz so easily you can find the value because the value of F naught is given 440 so my option number 2 will be the right choice so let's move on question number 22. In the question number 22, two negative ions A and B carrying a charge Q and 2Q are separated by distance R. F is the force of repulsion between the ions, then number of axis electrons on each ions are respectively. Then I am going to consider minus minus. So this is the force Q is equal to any and 2q is equal to 2ne. Why I am writing here 2q? According to the problem. So if I go for the force first, k q1 q2 you know, so 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q1 q2. q1 is any, q2 is 2ne, so that will give you 2n square e square divided by r square. If I go for the value of n, will get 2 pi epsilon naught f into r square upon e square so this is the value of n but if i go for the 2q charge then we'll multiply by 2 and very simple so when you will multiply with 2 and it will enter inside the root it will becomes this 2 will convert into 8 so we'll write here 8 pi epsilon naught f r square upon e square so this is how you can solve the value of n and 2n. So my option number first will be the right choice. So let's move on question number 23. In the question number 23, four point charges q and minus q plus and minus small q are placed at the corner of a square as in diagram for given point in figure electric potential will be zero at point and you have to very careful capital Q and small q is not equal. In this type of question, you can solve by using the principle of superposition. Suppose if I go for point number H, then you will see the position of small q and minus small q are equal. And if I take the position of minus q and plus capital Q from H equal. The meaning of that, capital Q will cancel capital Q small with small. Similarly, agar aap o par ja rahe ho, if you are going to take O, the same situation you will get. All charges will have the same position and uh, potential is a scalar quantity. So you can add simply. Similarly, if I go for the point F, then you will get the same situation. But if I go for point number E and G, then you will see the position of minus capital Q from E will not be equal the position of plus capital Q from E. So they will not cancel. Same situation you will get at point G. So by this discussion you can easily found 
potential at H, potential at O, potential at F will be zero, but it will not be zero at point E and at point G. So my option number third will be the correct choice. So let's move on question number 24. In the question number 24, six plates are arranged to parallel plate capacitor as shown. If a battery of voltage V is connected across point C and D, charge supplied by the battery will be. So battery you can connect between C and D. So if I take plate number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and if I connect without taking the position of battery easily 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is a rough idea. Plate 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 capacitors and this is not required. But if I concentrate on the diagram then we will see the plate number 2 connect with the battery and plate number 1 and plate number 4. 1 and 4 are connected by an extra wire just like this. And another is plate number 3 and 6. 3 and 6. So if you will concentrate on this diagram then you will see this is the middle capacitor and all capacitors are having the same value. So by this rough diagram, I am saying rough diagram, you can take an idea that this is balanced wheat stone bridge. So if I make the complete scenario, so you will get this one and another capacitor will be here. So you will get this type of situation, balanced wheat stone bridge. So this is 3 and 4. I am not going to write the number of plates also, so you can get an idea. Because as I said in the NEET exam, this is a very important thing, how you will save your time. Okay. In the case of balanced wheat stone bridge, you know they are in series, so capacitance will be C by 2. They are in series, capacitance will be C by 2 and as per the condition of balanced wheat stone bridge, we are not going to focus on this. So finally, they are in parallel. So one line will have capacitance C by 2, another will have C by 2. So what will be the equivalent capacitance? So that is C. So now this question is going to become very easy so because I need the value of charge. Value of charge, I need equivalent capacitance into potential in the case of parallel plate capacitor, the value of C epsilon naught A by T and potential B this. So this is how you can calculate the value of charge. So my option number 1 will be the right choice. Let's move on question number 25. In the problem number 25, 3 point charges are placed at x minus A, okay, x0, x equal to A, the potential energy of the system shown. Because you know the potential energy for more than two charges, you know the formula 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught and Q1, Q2, then 1, 2, then 2, 3, number of pair will be 3, you all know all things. So I am going to use this. Suppose this is charge number 1, this is charge number 2 and this is charge number 3. So you can save your time, U is equal to minus, first I will write K and Q1, Q2. Q1 is minus Q, Q2 is 4Q. So by this manner, 4Q square. Position between these two, A. Similarly, when you will apply the same concept, we will get 4Q square divided by A and plus KQ square because both charges are negative in this case. The separation between these two from minus A up to plus A will be 2A. So this is how you can make the equation very quickly. So for solving, you can take KQ square by A as a common, we will get 1 by 2 minus 8. So on solving, we will get minus 15 Q square upon 8 pi epsilon naught A. And this is the energy. So in this type of question, so you need only making pair just like 1, 2 and 2, 3. Next one is 3, 1. Okay. And you have to be very careful in the case of potential energy. 
interaction between two charges. So this is how you can get the value of energy. So my option number one will be the right choice. Let's move on question number 26.